Hello my beautiful Cancers and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. So this is your bonus reading for this month to say thank you for all your uh, your views and your supports and your lovely comments. I really do appreciate it. Um, so I am rewarding you with an additional reading. Um, so you know keep the um keep the the love coming and more videos will come for you guys okay so um please remember the energies in this reading can go vice versa okay you can switch the genders and switch the roles do whatever, whatever you have to do but as i always say don't come at me in the comments um someone tried to come at me in the comments who was a cancer actually but she was sly she done it on a different sign reading and i just blocked her it's a shame because i was really cool with her but you see um the cancer reading your last reading it was um they're so jealous of you um sometimes you call out people's energies and they reveal themselves okay so <laughs> it's what it is guys but let's move on your overall energy we have harvest okay and um at the bottom of the deck my beautiful cancerians we have gratitude so i really feel like for some of you you could really be working on something really amazing i feel like it could be something that's artistic but does not have to be okay you are going to get the fruits of your labor okay it is harvest time okay for some of you you could be receiving a lot of abundance as well from nowhere but i'm hearing um be grateful when this abundance comes okay it is really important to show gratitude and when you show gratitude that's when you get more okay as i was saying in the beginning of the reading because everyone was showing gratitude and support i'm giving more so you know that's just how energy works the more you're grateful for something the more you are rewarded with it okay um so i feel like spirit is going to reward you with something okay i feel like you've been working diligently you've been working really hard um this could be just working on yourself maybe for some of you this could be your diet you could be eating healthier foods or you know healthy mind body and spirit maybe you're changing your environment you're changing who you're speaking to um okay but whatever it is that you're doing you know there's a reason for you to be grateful okay i also feel like somebody wants to um give you flowers or marigolds are very significant some of you may um I'm going to read up the spiritual meaning of marigolds or maybe some of you like marigolds or somebody's favorite flower is marigolds or marigolds are very significant. Okay, so research that flower. There's a message in there for you. Okay, butterflies are also very significant as well. For some of you, you may be having dreams about butterflies. Okay, so there is a transformation that is happening in your life or whatever it is, I feel like you're about to receive a lot. So this is really gorgeous and underneath we do have... um gaia connection to nature so yeah and then look oh my goodness so there's lots about butterflies here and transformation but yeah mother earth is very important so i feel like for some of you you may be feeling really connected to the earth right now okay maybe some of you are gardeners or you really like plants or you grow your own food so that's something that you're thinking about doing um this summer do it okay so this is really gorgeous okay so the fruit fruits represent abundance so i'm really excited for you guys okay so let me see what deck shall i use let's use this so what energy do we have coming towards my beautiful um cancerians gorgeous so we have beauty okay at the bottom of the deck and then we have demon okay so the devil so um an excessive amount of beauty okay so for some of you i feel like you're really going to be receiving a lot okay um like i said i don't know if there's like a celebration going on or something um with the flower energy okay because i'm just drawn to a lot of flowers here okay this could be something to do with friendships as well or admiration i also feel like with this energy i feel like there is like a dark energy that's really jealous of you so like i said that came up in your last reading they will reveal themselves this could be someone because they kind of almost look similar but she kind of looks like the light and the dark version because um, you know their hands are like crossed and everything i feel like this could be the same sign as you okay um yeah or someone that's really close to you that you wouldn't expect okay i also feel like someone has two sides to them so just be um, very careful okay because i feel like somebody's trying to like possess your beauty could be a taurus because they had significant um they had like a similar reading so you may want to watch that but i feel like someone is like jealous of your beauty or they're jealous of your harvesting abilities okay if you are a very beautiful or handsome person whether it's your energy or your appearance you are going to receive a lot of envy around you it just comes with the territory 444 just as i said that okay so that is your confirmation but whatever this is okay you're really beautiful at this time i feel like whatever you're creating as well is going to turn out really gorgeous okay and i feel like um 
if this is a product of some kind a lot of people are going to want to buy it or it's going to get a lot of attention okay i'm getting something about a hairstylist as well maybe some of you are into cosmetics okay well like i said you're just beautifying yourself or beautifying your home or beautifying your space okay so this is for my um beautiful cancerians so um oh my goodness this is i said that celebration and home wanted to come out but i just want one card oh my goodness we have love gorgeous energy okay so you are wait hold on let me just put this back a little bit okay you are loved and you are supported okay so like i said a lot of people are going to be loving what it is that you're doing what it is that you're saying this could be um i'm getting like an overwhelming response to something okay or just receiving a lot of love and admiration i feel like somebody's going to tell you how grateful or how appreciative they are of you of what it is that you do of what it is that you said i feel like someone kind of just sees you as a blessing or this is how you're going to be feeling really blessed really loved and really supported so this is gorgeous energy and then we've got the demon again at the bottom of the deck so there is like a dark energy around you there's been a dark energy attached to cancers for a very long time okay it keeps coming up in your reading Okay, so I don't know who the energy is. I do feel like for some of you, like I said, it's going to reveal itself. Okay, like one of the dark energies I found out was that cancer that commented yesterday. I had suspected her from a long time ago. Um, so that was revealed to me um, along with a few other people. So I feel like um, for some of you, you're going to... Um, you know, you're going to get some kind of intuition on who or what this dark energy is. But I kind of just feel like somebody... Um, is upset that you are receiving a lot of admiration or that you are pure loving energy i feel like for some of you like divine love you come from like um you see the stars in the background i don't know if any of you watched the video i done about what star seeds are you and how to find out what star constellation you come from you may have found out that you're from like majority of the loving star constellations like myself okay so people are naturally going to be envious of that um energy okay somebody may be from like more of a reptilian race but there's no there's nothing wrong with that but you know that the energy is completely like polar opposites okay but just know that there is a dark energy around i also feel like this is just people obsessed with you because the devil energy just talks about excessiveness so excessive amount of love excessive amount of tension excessive amount of abundance okay but this is looking really beautiful so far okay so gorgeous gorgeous energy so I'm just thinking what deck should I use next. So please clarify the beauty card. This is for my beautiful cancers. Oh my goodness, we can't we can't get away from this. I told you, you guys have got a dark energy following you, okay? We have the angel of darkness and then we have deceit, yeah. I feel like whoever this is as well is someone that you wouldn't expect. Like I said, this person comes across really beautiful, really sweet. They may have like a really sweet, kind voice. You just think this person would never. They will. They would, you know? okay because we got the dark energy here twice okay so yeah so just be very careful about that i also am getting as well be careful who you like if you're somebody that say you don't do your own hair and you don't do your own makeup be careful of whom you're getting your makeup and your hair done by because i feel like someone is like jealous of you and they could be like taking strands of your hair to try and do something with it or they're gonna fuck up your hair okay or fuck up your beauty in some type of way okay now with these energies as well i kind of feel like you kind of i'm getting like naughty and nice energies so i feel like some of you are feeling really lusty and really sexy and you could be using your your um sex appeal to your advantage okay so you know do what you gotta do <laughs> please clarify love this is for my beautiful cancers please clarify love Okay, so we have Muse of Speech. It says speaking language, expressions, letters, articles, texts, and contracts. Okay, yeah. So like I said, a lot of messages of love, people wanting people wanting you to know how much they love you. This could be something to do with your family as well, or this could just be a love interest, okay? Or like I said, a lot of support around you or support online if you have an online business or an online platform or within your community. We do have Angel of Misfortune, Sorrow at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I feel like this is this energy here. I feel like there is somebody around you. I feel like if someone has been dark towards you or they have shown any dark energy, I do feel like this person is very regretful. 
I also feel like somebody could be going through the dark night of the soul. Somebody is just really upset and really unhappy about something that it is that you are doing or you are achieving. Now, like I said, for some of you, if you allow someone to do something, when it comes to your beauty, it's not going to end well. So I kind of just feel like, you know, if you've been thinking about going to the hairdressers or you're thinking about letting someone do something for you and then something's just a bit off about this person or their energy, that's your confirmation to just not do it because I just feel like someone is going to... um spoil something for you because you know they're jealous and obsessive okay now for others of you i feel like there is someone that can't live without you or someone is really regretful and they're missing you and i feel like this is like an excessive amount of sadness and sorrow because somebody wasn't grateful for you okay you know underneath that we do have you know the infant the child and the connection to guy i feel like somebody wasn't really connected to their inner child or they needed to heal inner child trauma or they were behaving childish. So somebody kind of feels really, really bad for being demonic or being evil. Or maybe, like I said, maybe for some of you, you're going to get an inkling or you're going to find out who, who the culprit was when it comes to a situation. Now this person, now they know that they've been found out, they feel devastated. Okay, so somebody could have like a split personality here is what I'm getting okay but i do feel like you know there's people around you that are just upset and feeling some type of way because you're receiving accolades or you're receiving love or this is a lover that misses you and they want you back okay so different strokes for different folks so let's just see where this is going oh, let's see where this is going okay so i'm just thinking what deck do we want to use next this is for my beautiful cancers yeah, so we have the big chop. I'm telling you, when it comes to your beauty, someone's going to try and do something to your hair. They may cut it. This Something like this happened to two of my aunties because, you know, I come from a family where we have really long, long hair. And, um, you know, my auntie, everywhere she used to go, the hairdressers, they used to be really jealous of her hair because she's like really beautiful, dark, dark skinned woman. And her hair was like long all the way down her back, nearly to her butt bottom. And, um, you know, her hairstylist cut her hair unevenly and she damaged it so bad that my auntie had to end up cutting the whole, like her whole hair off, even though she just asked for a trim. So some people are like that. They're really spiteful. So like I said, just be careful with, you know, when it comes to your hair, your beauty, your skin, I would just say to stay away from people. Try to do something naturally or try to do something yourself. Now, for some of you as well, you could be starting fresh. When it comes to something, maybe you're thinking about shaving your hair off or you're just thinking about starting new when it comes to something, okay? And again, with all those like, um, you know, Facebook, Twitter, um, everything in the background, for some of you, you may be thinking about starting fresh when it comes to your social networks, okay? Or you're just becoming popular, you could be new on the scene and there's this dark energy that's trying to kind of like stop you, okay? Please clarify the muse of speech. So we have the moonlight, yeah, okay. So I feel like, like I said, something is going to be revealed. This is your energy here, okay, the moon. Okay, so I feel like you've been in the shadows. It's now your time to be in the spotlight. But I do feel like someone is really in their emotions. Now, for some of you, this is um, someone who wants to be with you. And I feel like they're finally going to express their love. They're going to tell you that they, they want a new beginning with you. They've gone through the dark night of the soul. They've realized their negative ways. Okay, this could be a family member as well. It doesn't have to be like a love interest, okay? But um, we'll, you know, we'll see if that comes out in your love reading, which I will be doing this week. If anyone is interested in their love readings, head over to my other channel. I posted it on the community tab, okay? But yeah, someone is really in their emotions here. I told you, like, it's like dark and night. Yeah, and then we've got Target at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, I do feel like someone is trying to target you. This card talks about jealousy as well okay but there's just something about you that um people don't like this could be like you know a racial thing but it does not have to be but i feel like people just target you because you're really attractive okay like i said because you're loving you're of divine energy you're very creative very abundant okay also for some of you if you're coming into a lot of money just be careful because there may be a lot of people around you that's like coming towards you and trying to be all pally pally and all you know like them family members that you haven't seen for like five years and then they want to speak to you because they're targeting you because they know that you've got coins 
and they want to use you yeah because underneath that we have the introvert okay and then we've got the parenthood so just be very careful it's i feel like this is saying just keep yourself to yourself because it's kind of like there is like a dark energy that is like looking at you and um trying to kind of like shoot its shot or something like that okay someone is trying is looking at you as like an easy target or something like that okay so this is for my beautiful cancers yeah we've got the emperor of emotions and the seven of wealth at the bottom of the deck okay so somebody um, wants to invest in you okay someone has got a lot of feelings a lot of emotions this could be you or a scorpio or you know a pisces but like i said i feel like someone is upset because you're receiving a lot of love now for some of you this is somebody that um wants to express their love to you, you know the king of cups you know that's someone who like has a lot of emotions but they can sometimes find it difficult to express them but their emotions run real deep okay so maybe somebody needed to learn something about love or about expression okay but yeah, I do feel like, you know, someone really does love you here. This could be a love of self as well. But I feel like this is how somebody is feeling about you. Okay, wow. And then we have the, the Emperor of Wealth. Okay, so it could be doing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Okay, so we have two kings here. Okay, so a lot of masculine energy. So I feel like, yeah, abundance is coming to you. I feel like as well, somebody wants to look after you. They want to cater to you. Okay, this could be like a... um. You could be signing a contract as well or like i said lots of people want to invest in you but i feel like there's like a businessman or this could be you know a woman as well you know the kings and the queens could be male or female it's just the energy but i feel like someone really wants to invest in you and somebody wants to be loyal to you i feel like someone feels like you are down to earth now for some of you this is somebody that you're meeting and this is where all this gratitude is coming from they're going to be you're going to be so grateful that oh my god i have someone who loves me and cares about me and is doing really well now for some of you this could be somebody on the outside maybe they're seeing that you're getting this support or you're getting somebody you know you're meeting like your mr right or mrs right or you're getting a lot of wealth and money and success and you know this person just feels bad about it because someone didn't love love you when they had the chance but i do feel like for some of you someone has stepped up and they want to kind of like um, they want to have a, another chance with you now. Yeah, the bottom of the deck There's that jealous energy again that jealous irritated energy the nine of passion So it could be dealing with the Sagittarius does not have to be Yeah, someone's feeling some type of way because you're getting support with the six of wealth here Okay, I feel like you just irritate people or you just irritate a particular person your light your shine your creativity Your everything just annoy someone someone just feels some type of way So I feel like someone is intimidated by you pretty much someone is afraid of you okay so how they react is out of spite this could be somebody trying to kind of like publicly humiliate you or say something to you because they're intimidated by you by your gifts by your strength by your intuition because with the moon like here and the emperor of wealth i feel like your intuition is gold like your your empath abilities are like solid okay now, for some of you, this could be just um, this person feeling um, nervous to come towards you because sometimes the Nine of Wands can talk about, you know, the wounded warrior having to put his pride aside and having his tail between his legs and admitting defeat. So I feel like someone may want to come towards you and admit defeat, okay, and, you know, finally give you that equilibrium, that give and take that you deserve after kind of like holding back for a long time. Okay, so, you know, just take it how it resonates take it how it resonates so um let's get some additional messages for the beautiful cancerians try to keep the readings like short and sweet so the energy doesn't get too wild okay yeah here is your energy again cycles new moon new me okay so something significant may happen on the next new moon or full moon this is the cycle will repeat itself until the lesson is learned yeah so like i said before i feel like someone needed to learn a lesson when it comes to love and support okay and gratitude okay yeah and at the bottom of the deck we have creative like i said i feel like this is something to do with your creativity it says don't let your talents go to waste so yeah i feel like if any of you are doing anything creative listen keep going keep working at it because you're going to receive a lot of wealth and a lot of love and a lot of abundance from this okay but yeah a cycle has started and you're starting something new or like i said somebody wants to start something new with you okay 
and then we have comfort gorgeous energy it says um all your needs will be met just sit back and relax exactly so i feel like this person wants to take care of you he's saying listen let me love you let me take care of you let me support you you know and like i said i feel like you're going to be so grateful for something you have no idea what's about to enter your life but you're going to be thanking the universe, okay? And then we have quirky. It reads, um, normal is boring. Why be a horse when you can be a unicorn? Exactly. Okay, so I feel like you're different. You're quirky. And, you know, you know, you have people feeling some type of way about that energy. That's not your problem. How people feel about you is a reflection of themselves. So what any, whatever anyone has to say about you, don't worry about it, okay? Because people are just trying to target you here. Okay, I feel like this is someone as well where no one pays attention to them. No one really gives them love and support. This could be somebody that's like trying to compete with you or something. Okay. And for others of you, like I said, this is just someone who loves you. And, you know, maybe your lover was targeting you and they realize, you know, the back and forth or the petty shit is just stupid. Maybe they, your, your, the person who was in love with you was intimidated by you. Okay. Um, it says, hey, I miss know it all. I said what I said, and you know that I'm always right. Yeah, like I said, your intuition is solid. You are always right about a situation. I feel like this is what people are afraid of. They're afraid of your gifts, Cancer. You rule the moon. You're tapped in, okay? So someone knows you're right. I also feel like someone is coming to tell you, you know what, you were right. Okay, this could be like an apology or something like that. I feel like the King of Cups is coming to tell you that you were right about the situation. Or like I said, if you have an inkling of who the culprit is when it comes to somebody, you're you're right about who that person is, okay? Yeah, and it says you need to heal. So I feel like someone wants to heal something with you. And it says you need to drink more water at the bottom of the deck. So maybe if some of you are, you are dehydrated, remember water helps things to grow. Without, you know, water going into the earth, you know, things wouldn't grow. And you know that your opposite energy is earth, Kathy energy. So I feel like you drinking a lot more water is going to help nourish a situation okay symbolism is what i'm hearing symbolism okay so let's just pull an affirmation for you and then we will wrap this reading up okay so we have i am strong and fearless that you are and that that's what you need to be at the bottom of the deck we do have i am attracting pure love so yeah like i said i feel like you are pure love or you are loved and, you know, people just feel some type of way about that, okay? And we have, I am filled with creative ideas, okay? So gorgeous. Like, sometimes I see this card as someone thinking about you a lot. But again, your creativity, your creative ideas is what's going to draw abundance towards you. So never forget that. And then we have, I am happy at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you have a lot of reasons to smile. And we have two polar opposite energies here, okay? We've got, I am happy and sorrow, okay? So not everybody is going to be happy about your um happiness and that's not your problem i'm also hearing ain't, ain't no sunshine when she's gone so like i said i feel like someone tried to be mean to you or tried to embarrass you or was um you know feeling some type of way towards you okay but i feel like this person is going through it or they're about to while you're going to be happy and successful okay also like i said someone is lost without you okay so i hope you enjoyed the reading cancers thank you so much for all of your support um, and I hope to see you again very soon. Also, like I said, don't forget to go check out my other channel. Your love reading should be up there um, within the next few days. And then um, I will be doing the readings for um, April. And I'll be doing water sign readings as well soon on this channel. So check out for those in the collective. Bye.